All right, guys, welcome. I'm Coach JB. Kevin, anytime. So today, we want to talk about, is energy real? Is vibration real? So, have you ever read a post, watched a video that gave you chills or changed the way you felt inside? Maybe you got emotional? So think about this. Have you watched the movie Rocky? Would you agree that when you walk out of the movie Rocky, you feel like you can accomplish anything? Maybe if you're an underdog, you feel like you want to go box or fight? Or maybe you watch uh, the movie Pursuit of Happiness, and you feel this empowerment inside of your body that changes you vibrationally as you walk out of there, but it slowly dissipates, right? So what is that? So is energy real? Is vibration real? Now what I want to talk about today is being cautious with that and understanding the responsibility that you have with that because you truly are shaping the reality around you through your thoughts, which becomes a vibration, which becomes the energy that you emit out and you're seeing the manifestation within your current reality, right? Then it gets more powerful when you take something like this, a pen, and you actually attach it to paper. Or now these days, you take this phone and you type in a message. So one thing we've been, been experiencing at a very high vibrational level is future messages to ourselves. So on Facebook, they send you the year anniversary of a post, right? So I think it's every day one pops up. And we're starting to find that the things that we put into the universe or it's time stamped a year ago are coming true today. Now, why are they coming true? Because of the intention of the post and the feeling and vibration within that moment. We often post emotionally. When we feel a certain way, we dive into a post, we're very emotional, vibrational beings, right? So we see something or we feel something and boom, we react and we post it. But we're starting to see a connection, a deep rooted connection around the vibration of the actual writing or the video. So if that's true, then are we shaping and writing the future by writing something down or putting it on video? Absolutely. We just had a moment this morning where we read something from somebody that was from a different country that was time stamped earlier, but there was a vibrational feeling based on the words that we read. I got chills. He had a vibration running up his legs. We felt an emotion based on the vibration and reading what was said. Now the person has already gone on with their day, but we're reading the feeling from the words. So how did I get chills? If we're just reading words, if things aren't energy and you're not time stamping, so yes, energy and vibration is absolutely real. And whatever you put on video, whatever you put on your TikTok, whatever you put on Facebook, whatever you write in your journal, or whatever you're time stamping within your mind, you are literally shaping and molding the reality around you because the truth is time does not exist. We invented the clock. And ever since we invented the clock, we invented stress, anxiety, expectations, timelines. But the truth is everything is happening right now in this present moment. So as you listen to this, you may be getting a vibrational feeling based on your subconscious mind programming that could be positive or negative. You could be a very, very religious person and say what he's talking about is not of God, right? Not knowing that I am a complete lover of God. Absolutely love and adore God. And that my belief system is that every single person is right. That if you believe something and it's helping shape your mold your life, then I believe you. I think it's great and I would love to learn from you. But what is the Bible? It's time-stamped information. And why do some people read it and fill the Holy Spirit? What is a tabloid magazine? When you read the magazine, does it make you feel a certain way? It makes you feel anxiety or excitement for the anxiety or the dopamine, right? What is a reality show? If what you're watching, is that reality or was it filmed, edited, and modified for an emotion? The people have moved on with their life and often it's a year later, right? Maybe their life is completely different and you're watching a time stamp reality that gives you an emotional feeling, but why does it give you an emotional feeling? Because everything, Everything is energy. Everything is a timestamp. Every word I'm saying right now, I cannot take back. So you gotta be very, very careful. So there's a lot of esoteric people out there that talk about manifestation, meditation, vibrational energy, and how to manifest things. And, and they're all right. They're all absolutely right. But what we really need to think about is responsibility in this power. Like taking responsibility of this power you have and shaping it and molding it for good. 
Because what the media is doing, they're creating a narrative to create a vibration, a timestamp narrative that creates a vibration within you that gets spread across the whole United States, across the whole world, that's creating a vibrational energy inside of you that's changing you on a cellular level and making you react a certain way. So when you know that power, you can reverse engineer it. So every word you write, every, excuse me, every word you speak, every word you write, every post you do, every video you film is time stamping your future. That's truth. Everything you do that is coming out of you is time stamping your future. So if you want to shape a better tomorrow, you shape it right now. You start to write 10 things you're grateful for. You start to do posts speaking to your future self. Imagine writing posts of where you want to be in 2021 at this time. Saying, hey, I'm so proud of you for the million dollars that you've come across from all your hard work and dedication. Now people may see that as weird, they may see that as weird, but they won't see it as weird when a year from now, in July, a couple posts that I've had, that I'll go, oh, okay, I'm a multi, multi-millionaire. And the post already said it, because it's been time stamped in history. So we're gonna continue down this path of manifestation and talking about the tools and behaviors that we've done, but I'm making a commitment the next six months to do a social test for myself, social experiment for myself. And that social experiment is pure, pure, pure positivity. doesn't mean I'm going to have moments and bouts of negativity, but everything that comes into my mind is going to be controlled by me. Conversations, media, social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, lack of Netflix or Netflix, whatever it is, news, everything, vibrational talks, wearing a mask, not wearing a mask. Everything I do is going to have intention of positivity. Every negative conversation, I'm going to see it as positive and I'm going to find the positive light. And I'm going to do that for six months controlling my vibrational energy at a high vibrational level. I'll be writing down 300 times a day. Thank you for the 3K a day in income. Thank you for the beautiful, amazing woman who understands me. 300 times a day. So it'll be one line, the next line. One line and the way that I do it is I type it into my computer and I send it to myself every single day. So that's putting a timestamp out there that we'll be making 3K a day so we can help more people. We also will be attracting because we're time stamping and putting out to the universe over and over again. So you have to know that what you're saying to yourself, how you're feeling, what you're projecting, is what you're going to get more of. It's really that simple. It's not that complex. But the world's going to tell you that it's really confusing. It's really hard. It's reserved for the 1%. It's reserved for every single human being. Abundance is right above you. And it's waiting for you. It's absolutely waiting for you. And the problem is negativity grabs onto you. And negativity grabs your legs and it swings you around. It slams you on the ground. It brings you back up. And positivity is saying, hey, I'm ready for you. So it's not reserved for somebody who lives in a nicer neighborhood. It's not reserved for somebody who lives in uh, the Hamptons versus somebody who lives in Compton, California or South Phoenix, Arizona. It's not reserved for this or that. It's reserved for the person who's willing to accept it. Because we have example after example of people who grew up in very tough circumstances that made it. And all they did was shift the paradigm, they shift the thoughts, and often they wrote down their goals. They put it on paper, and all of a sudden they're like, oh, I wrote that down 10 years ago. Now here's the trick, is that every seed planted has a germination process. Hear me out. An apple seed takes 10 years to bear fruit. So you plant the apple seed, it has to go through a violent process to get through the ground, right? Then it becomes a tree. When it grows as a tree, it builds its roots very, very deep into the ground. And for 10 years, it weathers storms, hurricanes, rain, drought, whatever it is. But every day it trusts that the sun's going to come up and give it its nutrients. It trusts that the soil is going to give it the proper nutrients it needs to grow. And it just grows on a daily basis with faith, right? And it takes 10 years to bear the one apple. But you don't sit under the apple tree and wait for that apple. You go and buy the apple at the store. And once that one apple comes, a multitude of apples come. So this is why people get discouraged is because they set a goal, they put it on paper, and then they forget about it and they don't think anything's going to work out for them. And they're reversing the cycle because the next thing they put out is negativity. And so it's not that that positive thing went away. It's the fact that you're putting this huge priority list in front of it of negativity. And it's still waiting for you. It's still there. But you're building this wall in front of your abundance of negative, negative, negative. Negative, negative, and guess what? You're the one that has to go back through all that through positive, through positive, through positive. So it's always there, it hasn't gone away. 
That positive relationship you want, so you're in a marriage, doesn't mean you have to get divorced. The positivity still exists within that loving marriage like you had the first six months. It's that you built this huge wall, thick wall of negativity. That seed is still planted. What you have to do is chip away through positive, 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 positive. When you get there, you put up the shield of positivity of love and light. So what you're doing right now is going to shape your future in five years. Every activity you're doing right now, what you're writing, what you're saying, what you're doing, what you're wearing, what you're thinking. So if you like what you're doing right now and you're happy with your life, then keep doing what you're doing. But if you want change, change the words, change the actual physicality that you're writing, change the posts that you're doing, and then change the input that's coming in. Kevin, hands up. Yep. Um, it, it's, it's about recognizing it and not ignoring it. I think we've been taught to ignore it, but energy is real. That the, the, the invisible energy is real. And that, I mean, that is God. It is in the air. It is everywhere. It just, that is because he created all things. So it would only make sense to correlate the two, right? Um, what you would want to do is just focus on becoming aware of that energy yes. and really trusting that it is here for us. So we've been manipulated to think that we have to pay to live. That's deep, super, super deep. We've been manipulated to live, to think that we literally have to pay we're, and we're paying each other, we're paying another person who is not greater than another person. We're paying these people to live on this planet and we own the planet. That's like living in your own house and you're like, well, I gotta pay my rent, I gotta pay myself rent. Or It doesn't make any sense, it's backwards. It's like, it's totally, it just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. So. The, the energy that we put into things really, 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 really matters simply because we have that ability. We have the ability to use that energy. I mean, we, we've manipulated so many invisible energies. You got Wi-Fi, you got radio, mm -hmm. you got um, the in, in, what is that, the NCF or the N NSF? You got the NSF on the camera where I can connect to my phone. Uh, you got Bluetooth, you got, I mean, the, you, you name it, dude, wireless earbuds, all of this stuff is how, how does that hear what's on there but, and it's not connected? What is that? And when you think about it, it's like, oh, okay, no, so there are things out here that um, I may not understand, but we can utilize yes. and we happily utilize sometimes. Um, it just depends on what you want to believe in and you be you surefire believe in Wi-Fi I'm pretty sure if you're watching this. That's just how it goes. So um, the, I think what's important is how we're uh, receiving and directing that energy because w w Like he said, we saw a post um, based off of the uh, Academy and stuff and um, They're basically putting some really heartfelt thought into what they're writing and stamped it on there, left it on there. And what's interesting is as we, as we read it, we could feel that. What is that? We could actually feel what he wrote, even though he did it at a different time. That's how you, Man, that's even that's even more interesting if you think about it cuz there's a lot of stuff out here that you can say. So, like we got a vision board right in front of us and that's stuff that's all written down. Um, but was I really intentional when I put that stuff down? Was I was I was I emotional about it? Did I want those things to actually happen? That I think is what most people get confused when things don't work is that they'll put it down and they'll say it and, it and a couple days will go by and they're like, it's not working. And it's because, well, first of all, the first thing is 
the negative programming, you have to reverse that, which is like trying to slow down a train. So if you're powerful enough to grab a train, you know, even Superman, they show him grab a train, he slides for a hot minute before it stops. He doesn't just boom and it just stops right away. So that's what we're saying. You gotta, you gotta first start to reprogram and understand, okay, my first knee jerk reaction is negative and I need to start changing that because if you start to change that you'll start to receive that positive energy because the knee-jerk reaction negative makes you get negative energy to you because there is negative energy out there there just is and, and that's just basic law because it, and it, I don't know it, I don't it, see now I'm kind of confused because I'm I, I'm trying to put it into an example of what negative energy is and it's like if somebody's mad and they put a post down and they say something really crazy you can feel that mm -hmm. and you do feel a certain type yeah. of way but if somebody's just posting willy-nilly you kind of actually just scroll by it you don't even pay attention to mm -hmm. it but if they actually really put like oh you make me so mad or they're directing their thought towards something you will feel that yeah. and that's that concentrated energy that we're trying to help you to understand that it's so important to go into a positive mind state and take in positive stuff because we want to redirect positive energy otherwise it's negative yeah simple man it is really that so, so think about like a picture of a girl uh like that's uh, i guess my daughter call it thirst trapping right so they're they're posting a picture that gets time stamped in reality and there's multiple, multiple, hundreds of thousands of men looking at that picture, creating a sexual emotion within their body. So you tell us that energy is not real, but a girl posts a picture of her or a video of her shaking her ass, right? She's gone on throughout her day, but that video has created a uncomfortable, awkward vibration in thousands and thousands and thousands of men who may make a decision because they watch that video to go watch pornography. So that timestamp video, that's a dark way to look at it. That timestamp video created a ripple effect within many men that got these men to make unconscious decisions in regards to watching pornography. Watching the pornography, you may or may not know that what you're watching could be someone who's been sex trafficked. That sex trafficking child has a family, a mom and a dad who are just destroyed. That destroyed mom and dad now have a son who's a drug addict because didn't get a lot of attention because the daughter was sex trafficked and they haven't been able to find their son. So he didn't get the attention. Now he's a drug addict and he just had a baby because he was sexually uh, having sexual intercourse with somebody because he felt uh, lonely. And now he has a baby. Now he's going to raise a child. And that one post created a ripple effect. Wow. A fucking ripple effect. Or... You can do a positive post on TikTok, and that one person takes a gun away from their head. That gun gets taken away from that person's head. They put the gun down. They get reformed. They have a child. They start creating high vibrational energy. That child goes out and gets a cure for cancer. Everything you do creates a damn... I'm getting chills right now yeah, talking about this. Everything you do creates a goddamn ripple effect. You have to know that. It could change and shift the generations that you live and breathe with. Every decision you make, mom, dad, brother, sister, cousin. So we could talk esoteric manifestation all day. The truth is every decision, every thought, everything you write has a conscious, conscious decision behind it. And that conscious decision has a massive, massive ripple effect. I know using the girl shaking her ass was a weird one, but maybe you're somebody who does that. Maybe you should think twice about that. What do you want? What does the attention mean to you? And that causes a ripple effect for you going the other way because you're trying to manifest a positive relationship and you're not gonna find that if that's what you're doing. Everything has a ripple. Every decision has an equal or lesser reaction. It's a fact. So we're going to start teaching you guys vibrational energy at a deep, 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 deep level. Much deeper than the surface of just think and grow rich. Much deeper than the level of the secret thoughts become things. Because not only do thoughts become things, but your actions become vibrations. And your actions vibration becomes a ripple. That ripple affects people all throughout the planet. So we start to understand this responsibility. You, me, Kev, Brian, all of us can change the world. 
And that's a responsibility we're willing to take on as human beings. And it's not a game. It's not a game to us. We're consciously thinking about every decision we make within this business. We could open up the floodgates. We went private because we're looking for the one who really wants to embody this and change, change the vibrational field around them. But don't think for one minute that you can't make the change. Don't think for one minute that something outside of you is causing this. You have the same makeup of stars. You are powerful beyond measure. And every thought, every decision you make has a ripple effect. So we love you guys very, very much. So if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, share your thoughts in the comments. Share with us. Make sure you put on the notification button because there's going to be a lot more coming. I'm telling you, we don't stage these videos. It's like we feel something, boom, we jump right on. We felt it. We had a post that came through. We got to talk about this. We got to talk about this. We're not doing this, all this fancy stuff. You know, there'll be some edits and stuff, but that's, you know, that's part of production. But this is just real talk. We don't have PowerPoints up here. This is just coming from vibrational energy of two human beings that really give a shit about you. Because you're me and I am you. He is me, I and him. That's just how it works, guys. We are spiritual beings having a human experience, and we're really jacking up this human experience. We are. The devil got casted down to earth and they said there's heaven on earth and this is it. It's finding that you are the cause and effect of everything. Everything. That's all I got. Yeah, so just think about the intentions and the energy that you're projecting out there and what you're taking in. It's, it's, it's actually pretty serious. Love you guys. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.